right in uh, in CU. So is this your music uh, thing calling you back in uh, in CU? Yeah. So yeah. Uh. So yes. Yeah, so it has been even up to now. Still mm. that there, I told you that tension of mm. music and computer studies because mm. it's always there. Yeah. yeah. And they, see, because, uh, because both of them they are. Yeah. Yeah. They are, even is my for I, I used to come with my bass guitar. I'm yeah. going for band practice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so 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 in campus, of course, we I play with the Christian Union. Mm. That's actually the the first time I picked up the bass. Mm. But in uh, in most of my time, I was playing the keyboard. Ah, uh, so, are so you I good? Are you good at it? So I can say I'm better on the bass than the keys. Oh, okay. Yeah, but the okay. keys, uh, I get to have my, maybe if I wanted to try out something, I'll yeah. try out the keyboard mm. because the keyboard is easier to follow. Yeah. Then yeah. I can I can I can do the. Ah, yeah. so if you have like the the keys, you can be able to play them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, nice, nice. So, the reason why I'm asking this is because uh, some time back, and it's, this should not be a cliche. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I think uh, Steve Jobs said that uh, he happens to hire artists to happen to write code. Ah. So there is always a correlation uh, between uh, music and uh, science, yes. specifically programming. Uh, and that's a, or maybe you can yeah, say even yeah. arts in general, maybe. Or you, you are basically, basically music. Music, music okay. Yeah, yeah, music. Because even even the mark that we use, mm. it's it, maybe people don't know, but it's designed for it, it. It is designed for designers and musicians. Musician, that's true. That's true. That's the first. Period. Every like every every producer will go like if they're not using a mark. Uh, you get what I'm saying. True. <laughs> uh, and also greatest of the mm. programmers, they happen to do something in music. Including Steve Jobs himself, uh-huh. and uh, you know the other designer. I don't. I can't remember his name right now. Mm. Uh, is it Steve Ive? Oh, Johnny Ive. Johnny Ive. Yes, uh-huh. Johnny Ive. Oh, okay. So you always find the that correct. I think mm. someone who really understands music mm. uh, has a way because also music requires a lot of focus. That's what people don't do. Yeah, it does. People see people perform and it's really smooth <laughs> and easy, but the practice hours that people think, put yeah. into place mm. is amazing. The creativity. Mm. In music, also in computing, I tell people anyone can write code, but very few people can solve problems. Very few people, and those are the yeah. good engineers. Yeah, problem solving yeah. is the, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's the higher part. Mm. Yeah. I now, think code is just the implementation. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. Chief, yes. uh, you get into second year, uh-huh. where now you need to do a project. Uh-huh. Mm. What did you build? So interesting. So all my my time. So mm. the good thing is like. I was lucky. Just, I, mean, I, I can't myself like him. Mm. Uh, all smart the people think I, they are I lucky. Used to, I used to. Mm. I, <laughs> all the smart people who have sat there, they always say they are lucky. Because mm. most of the time they say, like, when I do a project, mm. I want to make this project into a product. Mm. Like, I, I can make it a startup. Mm-hmm. That time I already think in terms of, like, making. Though I didn't know that term even startup. Mm. I, I, think like I, I, wanna I, make I haven't even heard of uh, the lean startup or that kind of thing. Mm. But. I was thinking like this thing can turn into a product. Mm-hmm. So I decided to do a, a, a project called Get Kazi. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Still is there. Get Kazi. Okay. Now it's yes. Kazi Plus. Yes. That's how it turned to Kazi <laughs> Plus now. Mm-hmm. So Get Kazi, mm-hmm. I do Get Kazi uh, to help like, it's just a job board basically. Mm-hmm. So it's my, yeah. <laughs> my yeah. project. Yeah. So it was like, uh, that time, the, that time the main job board in Kenya was the uh, Brighter Monday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it was like sort of a brighter Monday mm. kind of thing, mm. clone. So I did I, I did that, mm. but I wanted it to be like a product. So I didn't get to actualize it, but but I packed it. Mm. So get guys, I packed it, and then fast forward in uh, 2014, mm. thereabout, mm. I started building the Kazi Plus mm. uh, platform now. Okay, okay, uh, and and you hasted. it. Yeah, yes, I tried. Mm. Uh, first, uh, we managed to launch it in 2015. Yeah. Yeah, today, mm. I think I launched in the 1st of May. Mm. Then we went live. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, which, were, which were your like, favorite units during that period before oh, you, you went to like that year? Oh, uh, for me, anything that was hardcore computer science. Mm. Or love, like anything that was uh, veering me off, like things that I don't, mm. talking about, like uh, which one? Communication uh, skills. Ah, of course. Those are, they just leave those <laughs> HIV and AIDS. Like, HIV and but other, even other than that. Do they, that, do they still teach that? They, yeah, because yeah. it's like a mm. statutory requirement sort of. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So People like, should not die of HIV and yeah, AIDS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. 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 it's funny. Yeah, but but um, so I, most of, of course, 
I used to like most of the stuff. Of course, like, mm. I think like data structure and algorithm was also good for mm. me. Operating systems. Mm. Uh, assembly. We, yeah. Ah. Uh, assembly. We did, we did uh, yeah. C also. I really mm. liked C that time. Mm. But most of these things, I was just doing them as... Because uh, it's it's hard to, to to take one thing out of another yeah and like they all yeah. make that puzzle they all make yeah. that, uh, the feature. puzzle com- complete yeah, yeah. Complete, yeah. yeah. so so everything that every course that i did i tried to do it like that this mm. the best of my knowledge but i felt short chained mm. in terms of course delivery mm. and it's a problem i think that we're trying to solve uh, mm. locally yeah. where, where our schools oh, that, that time i was really hardcore in terms of i was thinking that the school wasn't doing enough but mm. over time i've come to understand from their side, mm. out of the academia, mm. like you can tell, you, you can imagine you telling a professor to, to go start now learning Python so that they can teach you. Yeah. So this day I, t- I tell students, mm. the school is just there to tell you what is there mm. to know. It teaches you how to learn. Yes. <laughs> and another day should be teaching you how to learn. Yes. But don't expect your professor to come and teach you Python. Mm. I'll come and teach you APIs how to use mm. the JavaScript. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but. Just know that there's something called compiler construction, mm. something called uh, uh, maybe if you're constructing the algorithms, mm. operating systems, yeah, internals, yeah, yeah, yeah. and all that. Yeah. At least know that, mm. and then I go and do your own depth research and learn and that. Mm. But so the problem, the, but the only problem that we have now with the system is that mm. it does not reward those who go the extra mile. Ah, I see. It punishes actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just severely punishes. Yeah. But it rewards those who can. Go and read those slides and, and cram it, yeah. and go fill in. Mm. They'll be like the ones getting first classes. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. So I it, see. it, it yeah. rewards more of that. So that's the pro- that's the only problem. Yeah. I wish there was a way of rewarding guys who are actually doing the actual and reading, like getting to know the and, and everything and implementing yeah. the yeah. practical aspect of it. Yeah. So when uh, right now I'm also I'm back actually to the school mm. and uh, we're actually talking with a lot of the, the professors there. We mm. are. Uh, and even the curriculum now is really changed. I don't know if you know the new, the new curriculum. I should I should send you the link for the computer science. Uh, computer science. Yeah, they have really improved. Please share. Yeah. Because uh, they've added. Actually, you might issue, you need to help the the school mm. because mm. they have added these sections where they call them boot camps. Mm. It's a new item mm. where you can yeah. just yeah. a boot camp. It's mm. free. Mm. The one boot camp is called Emerging Technologies. Mm. So they wanted to partner with industry. Mm. So something like AT can mm. come mm. and teach them any emerging technology. Anytime, bro. Any. We are ready. We, are, we were born ready. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'll, do, I'll, do, I'll do that connection. Yeah, 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 for yeah. sure. So, I, I actually had contacted uh, Muturi last year. Um, um, I wanted to do a couple of, uh, even make it like a, a process. But this is what I, I want to say, because mm-hmm. especially for schools in Nairobi, yes, yes. people are too comfortable, to be honest. Because and you know more about the school right now than myself. So yeah, go yes. ahead, yeah. Because mm. most of these events that happen around Nairobi through the community, they mm. share a lot of what is happening right now. Mm-hmm. And, and and we try to go even like predict in a couple of years what how should you prepare yourself to fit into the industry? Because you mm. see technologies like uh, engineering, construction and all these, mm. it it moves very fast. Very fast. That you yeah, by the mm-hmm. time you gra- by the time you join uh, first year and by the time you are graduating, mm-hmm. what was really needed in first year is no longer there. Yes. Like I, I remember when we were graduating, it was C plus C sharp. Mm-hmm. Right now it's JavaScript, right? Yes. Just to give an example. Mm-hmm. Um, but the core is the same. Uh, what you're taught there is the same. Data structure, yeah. algorithm yeah. is the same. Mm-hmm. Game theory is the same. That mm-hmm. helps you to solve problem. But now the technology that you used to implement that keeps changing because at the end of the day. People are finding newer and easier ways of doing things. Mm. Like in the next ten years, the biggest uh, industry that people should focus on is machine learning and AI. Yeah, no doubt, because yeah. um, it's no longer time that we say the future oil is data. No, mm. right now as you speak, that's data is the oil, the oil, new oil. True, Any company true. that is crunching data and making information out of it and eventually knowledge. Mm. We in the knowledge society. I, I think mm-hmm. you remember that from uh, Dr. Nganga. I yes, don't know yes. if she's a professor yeah, now, but. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she, t- she taught automata. Yes. And that helps you to understand even the core basics of knowledge societies, mm. how they operate, mm. um, knowledge engineering, mm. and whatnot. Mm. So I would say also as much as we might try to reach out there because also going to schools sometimes, I would say it's, it's an inconvenience because mm. of how the school structures are. Yeah, yeah. 
but if they also try to uh, plug into the, and I've ecosystem. seen a couple of, of those students uh, in the But ecosystem. how many come to the AT? Very few. Very AT few. boot camps. There. I'll say very you few. Because I like the, the thing that you do, what is mm. it called? The open open Akamon? Man, mm. I just, I was just feeling like, if you are to reverse <laughs> the campus, I would be like in all three of those. No, even right now every, you can come. Actually, yeah. um, uh, every engineer, I mean, because when I come to Microsoft, like I know, uh, like three, maybe three quarters. Uh-huh. Because uh, even even in Andela, you know, most of the Andela guys went to Microsoft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is that I encourage them as much as I know the work is demanding. Uh, find some time. Even I think if you guys negotiate with the Microsoft itself, mm. these are things they know actually count into even creating the pipeline. Yeah, right? the whole ecosystem. So right. you could find time, you could find slot to share some of this knowledge. Because at the end of the day, you see, it is doing as much as it can, and yes, you see, yes. mm. maybe to some extent, if we whole come and contribute in one or the other, mm. then there is no doubt we could be the leaders of, 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 of in tech. And there is nothing stops us because one thing I'm, I'm for sure after interacting with different guys across the country is that the, the, the smart guys are equally distributed. God is a fair God. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but now they don't they, get they that just platform. They say that yeah. uh, even when it was in Andera, the mantra at that time was that that, that uh, talent is, is evenly distributed. Yes. But opportunity is the only that is not. They, they are limited, yeah. So, uh, and I'm sure if we offer the platform, even these guys can create opportunities. Uh, so that's what we ride on. And, and for us, as Africa Stalking, we normally have open hackathon the last Thursday of the month. That was ingenious. That's yes. awesome, yeah. And do you know what? Mm. There is always open hackathon the last Thursday of the month unless there's nuclear <laughs> war. <laughs> Or there is an apocalypse. That's yeah. how committed we are. Right. Uh, we're also trying to do... So last Thursday. Yeah, last, I always get the email. Last Thursday the email. Of, the, of the month. Um, so you can always find an opportunity and then uh, you can be able to uh, contribute in one way or the other. Or come even see, sit with the engineers, see what they're building. Okay, Guys are yeah. building amazing stuff. Amazing stuff yeah. uh, people always have new ideas that could throw you off balance because what was our solutions then is no longer there. Yeah. Guys right now are starting to code maybe at high school level, primary school level. Yeah, yeah. Happening. yeah, yeah. Yes. So you go there and say, you know, you have 10 years of coding experience. Uh, what was that? <laughs> they have 12, <laughs> right? <laughs> and then maybe second year. So true, yeah. uh, things are changing. But if we connect the hold and the need, we'll be able to make it. Uh, and of course, for us, we are committed. Uh, it will be about time. Uh, because uh, like this week, we are, we are going to Chuka University. Mm-hmm. Well, whoever will be listening to this will be, <laughs> will be asking which <laughs> week. Which week, yeah. Uh, in yeah, week, uh, <laughs> uh, the second week of February. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, and, and also a couple of, uh, we'll be doing Jaquat, I think next week, mm-hmm. and uh, Mombasa, that is Tum. And, Tum, yeah. Uh, yeah, oh, nice. yeah. And we're inviting um, uh, Swahili Box, Swahili Port, uh, the Zidarab. I can't remember its name right now, mm. uh, but everyone is in yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Bombasa awesome. is growing actually. Mm. Um, and industry, and we'll be visiting county to see what we can we can help them build. Mm. We also want to start capacity building across the counties. I hope the counties will be able that to support awesome. that process that awesome. and involve all the community. For us, the good thing is that we are partnering with all the dev communities uh, yes, to ensure yes. that because we're committed in empowering developers across Africa. Mm. Uh, very soon, uh, we'll be launching in uh, West Africa. Uh-huh. Yeah, we'll be doing that outreach, mm-hmm. but already the communities are there. Mm. So, uh, this is something you are committed long term. But of course, but you know one thing that I really respect it, you guys, what you do mm. is I'm quite I can almost even bet my money on it. That yeah, you get very little from what you give. Mm. What, what you get back. Yeah. You guys give a lot. Like You, you have open heart. Yeah, you guys give, give. Like, it's true, like, almost, I don't want to say this, and then maybe your, uh, uh, one of your investors is listening, uh, but you're almost like a socialist. Uh, I know. <laughs> but, yeah, but for yeah, me, that's yeah. also resonates with me, because I'm, mm. uh, I don't really believe in, like, hardcore capitalism. Mm, yeah, yeah. Mm, I think mm, we need mm. to empower other people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They say by giving, you receive. Mm. You can never receive with clench, uh, clenched mm. fists. Mm-hmm. Ever, yeah. <laughs> and you know what clenched fist can do better? Fight. Fight. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing else. Yeah. <laughs> but an open fist can do a lot of things. It can receive. It can greet. It, 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 you know, it can pray. There's a lot that you can do. That's but anyway, that's uh, that's a bit deep. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> that. Mm-hmm. But now, chief, yeah. uh, this is where I met you yeah. <laughs> in second year. Yeah. 
and uh, you had this resource of so many books that you shared. <laughs> How did you get all that? That's a good question. Man, yeah, I remember. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. Hey, you shared. I don't know how, how many come? GPs. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why I didn't like give my shout out to, like when I was writing, when I was writing my, I think I did write, I did write uh, to him, but there's this guy who was at Google, he's mm. called Andrew Ashira. Mm. But I know he's, he's, he's deceased now. Mm. to be with the Lord, yeah. Mm. So Andrew Ashira was like one of the engineers at Google. One of the very first engineers. Uh, yeah, in Kenya or mountain? From Kenya. From yeah. Kenya, but he wa- was uh, working mostly off da- Dublin. Uh, it was SRE. Dublin office, yeah. Uh. I was in SRE mm. stuff. So mm. then he came back, he did his master's. Mm. And at the coming, school? Uh, no, yeah. So, so coming back, is just, I'm talking of like uh, coming back from Dublin, it's like mm. 2018, there about. Okay. Then, then he joins Andela. Mm. Then within a year, he's always passed on. What happened? Cancer. Ah. Yeah, he throat cancer and... Throat cancer? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey. So that was really sad, but but he was the guy actually was hooking us up with so many good stuff. Like, mm. uh, there's this, like, he had a bunch of books, like... Uh, a repository. Drive. Yeah. Mm. And he just... He's sort of bootlegging, mm-hmm. which is, <laughs> like... But if, like, for me, I've grown up on bootlegging. Like, hey, yes, yes. Like, uh... Yes. uh Mm. That time we couldn't afford it. Yeah. Yes, yes, we were making some money, yeah. but it wasn't that much. <laughs> we buy like a whole like yeah. two thousand. Some of these books are quite expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. But sometimes when I later on became an author, I started feeling like, hey man, we shouldn't mm. be like. <laughs> <laughs> started having selfish interests <laughs> with book like. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, mm. most of the guys just even if you're not out there, just know the truth mm. is mm. most of our bo- your books mm. we, we book like them. <laughs> 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 and it's okay. Because at the end of the day, the reason why you write a book, and I'm not saying someone should write mm. a book and sleep hungry, is you want people to read it. Mm. And the best books are the ones that are most bootlegged. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like mm. when it's, uh, yeah. it's almost like the way bang and all that, you know, mm. it's mm. illegal when it's, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's all that lot. Anyway. Uh, uh, yeah, but but, but like, so, so, so what really happened was, mm. even the guys, for me, the guys who tell me like I mentored them, mm. What mentoring, if you guys ever hear that who my mentoring was, mm. not even at sitting with people like giving them even deep advice. Mm. All the what I used to do, mm. give them book. this mm. <laughs> bunch of books mm. God, mm. <laughs> that most of the times I haven't read myself. Yeah. Most of the times, yeah. not even most of the times, all the time mm. I haven't read all those books or even maybe even 10%, but mm. I used to just give all of them. Mm. Uh, and I remember. So in other words, you're telling people read politely. <laughs> in a polite language of saying, please read. No, it was just, even it wasn't in a polite language, it was more of, uh, I just wanted to share knowledge. Mm. Like, like some of the things that I wanted to do, but mm. I couldn't get time to do, I wanted another person to do it. Like, mm. I remember, I remember, uh, even Banta, mm. Ruby, I, remember, I never done Ruby. Mm. And I remember telling Banta, I think Ruby is, is a great language. Mm. From what I've seen, yeah. I think it's a good one. But Mr. Ifanya, but. Mm. Mm. I gave him some books. Yeah, yeah. I think that's why he started like Ruby, yeah. and now he's like the top Ruby guy. Yeah, yeah he's City <laughs> of Finn Plus. They're really doing well. And you guys uh, doing Nairobi also together. Yeah, 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 yeah so, yeah, yeah. so, so for me, I just feel like if I get something, mm. if I if you say you are into this, I get I tell you, ah, I've seen a, a nice book that you mm. could mm. benefit mm. from. So mm. that's how I, I used to do my mentorship, and even up to now, mm. I think, and maybe we should talk a, bit, a little bit about mentorship. Mm. I think uh, most people should not expect like a mentor should be the one like looking for you. Mm. You should be the one looking for the mentor. And yeah. then mm. to make mm, a mentor's work easier, mm. it's you maybe even to come with questions. Mm. Like you've already read stuff and say, hey man, I'm reading this part, but I'm not understanding. Yeah. But where you're coming to a mentorship session, you're just like uh, blank or you're trying still to, yeah, it's not really. It's uh, so nice. So, yeah. so it'd be good like yeah. for guys, like if there are students listening to this, mm. They should like be the ones uh, looking for mentors, mm. and then things like uh, a- the AT hackathons. Mm. Like th- th- actually, that's the only part. Okay, most of my connection I made them through hackathons mm. uh, in Nairobi. Mm. That time we're doing Garage Forty Eight. Yes, yes. That weekend. Mm. So they should come to those events, mm. make connections, get mentors, mm. get even also mentor others, mm. share material. Mm. That's how you grow the community. Yeah. Now, before you go to Garage Forty Eight. <laughs> Um, what what is your what's your take between a mentorship and uh, apprenticeship? Apprenticeship is harder. Mm. 
it is very hard to implement but it's the best it's mm. almost like you know when you have this you have a school eh? mm. and you say my dear i love a school where you have a one to one ratio mm. for students to teachers mm. Mm. it's almost mm. impossible eh? mm. but there maybe there are schools that I have I had like mm. uh, the school of Jeff Bezos was doing some school like it's really mm. where a student is really like they even they have a cup yeah class the school has only 40 students I don't know the yeah. numbers yeah. it has a cup a particular number of students yeah and the learners are just like everyone is given almost like uh, I tailor my material according to your yeah how you're working yeah so apprenticeship is the best because mm. you're working with this like person who is uh, experienced beside mm. and they're actually just you're watching seeing what is yeah. yeah but also apprenticeship mm. it's almost I can almost say it's 10x like even mm. mentorship mm. because mm. apprenticeship it's in some other subtle ways mm. it's it removes the barriers mm. you know sometimes you look at someone you look at him as a glorious person like mm. let mm. me say for example a person that someone that is undisputed mm. who's still living right now mm. someone like mm. Linus Torvald mm. right the mm. guy of Linux yes even even me i mm. look at him in awe mm. i've never met him mm. but let's say if you were to work with him mm. side by side mm. most of you are that thing now you start mm. fading away if you just like say oh he just someone like me yeah wait mm. Mm. even you maybe he's a forgotten mm. also about like uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so yeah. yeah. oh ah mm. now it makes you feel like oh i can't so do what he does mm. so i think my apprenticeship makes someone feel like they can do what he do mm. the mentorship is more of like you this person you respect you meet mm. him once in a while mm. so always there's that gap mm. you, you don't, don't know, know what yeah. they're doing mm. there like, yeah. and they, they can give you a few tips and that mm. but that's the best you can do mm. with the mentorship because mm. the other one needs time and yeah almost, and but what why it's possible especially like in companies it's better to do apprenticeship mm. style where mm. a junior is is hooked to the man uh, a senior mm. actually there are the companies that were doing that they taken that like to the next level yeah where mm. there's a company what's the pivotal labs mm. pivotal labs if i'm not mistaken up to now maybe i'll go to uh, someone can go check out mm. they were like everything is pair programming mm. like imagine like people some people say like that thing's not it's impossible but mm. eh, like you come in the office we're working from the same machine mm. you we of course you have and now the, the git has made it even much much easier yes you can mm. do over like all, all right mm. but that means that every code is written by two people mm. one person reading one writing and another one like driving as they say the pair programming mm. so that's almost pair programming is an a tool to implement apprenticeship mm. yeah so mm. so i think for companies if you can hook senior and uh, junior in an apprenticeship way that's mm. the best yeah and that, that's actually you can afford because people are in the same company same, they yeah. can work yeah. but don't say that you senior mentor this person where mm. they just meet once in a week mm. it doesn't yeah. help really a lot yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that's the reason why I don't believe in mentorship. Ah. And you've covered it really. Okay, well. okay. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> but you know that is the best you can do most of the times. Yeah. It's the best you can do for the given time and context. Yeah, for sure. And uh, I'm not saying that guys who do mentorship uh, are wrong or right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all I'm saying that where where do you want to see results? Where, where yeah, do you want to see real results, results yeah. right? Um and you've covered it really well. So for me I, I create platform where apprenticeship can happen. Uh, and I, and I, I'm very clear about this so that mm-hmm. everyone in that room don't expect you know someone will you reach someone for mentorship or for whatever because I, I find that also as an opportunistic way uh, but apprenticeship is where you show interest commitment because you see even with mentorship the gap that is there is that you will see only the glory side yes and that's why people don't like meeting their heroes i yeah, yeah, uh, they say everything it changes. Yeah. but they should meet your mm-hmm. hero story mm-hmm. they can make you mm-hmm. I, th- i think when you meet your hero and you find that they are, they fall short you should not like look at down upon yeah, them or yeah, what yeah. Yeah. should just change human. how yeah. you used to look at them yeah. you still adore them and, and, and love them and just know that it's human and actually mm-hmm. even make you feel like ah mm-hmm. now it's attainable yes, yes, i used to think that distance is huge yeah, but yeah. this is a short distance yeah yeah. yeah 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 but also again don't be fooled by the mistakes because mm-hmm. who have really invested time and in that growth and mm. they don't think because they can make this mistake so you're mm. in the same level mm. with them no no just still do the respect and all that but it makes you feel like you can attain mm. not like mm. you are with the, like yeah. them, but you can say yeah. like if i keep at yeah. it yeah. yeah yeah i can i can be what i want to be like in that yeah. song <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah so you go to that year <clears throat> and uh, this way you start participating in the akanons or you, you started earlier because of these ah, yeah. so about of course, them yeah yeah of course i got to start with the uh, coming when uh, the f- 
first the pioneers in this uh, ecosystem mm. i have mm. so 2008 when the is, no, not eight, 10, not 10, 10. 10. Mm. So yeah, you're right. Mm. That, yeah. that day is when I'm, I know about the IHUB. Yeah. Start going to the IHUB and mm. now we know about the hackathons mm. and all that. Yeah. Did you know it through Professor Agasha? Because that's how I knew IHUB. IHUB. I mm. know, because for me, the good thing I had roots in the industry a little bit. Mm. You know, I, I was doing gigs outside. Uh, like, uh, so I, was, I had some roots uh, in there. Uh, <laughs> in the, in the, you had connection. Yeah, in, yeah. In, you know you're putting them like roots and some like, <laughs> <laughs> no connections. Connection. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah. so yeah. So, yeah. so yeah, so I just knew like, uh, we, like through a friend, that someone tells a friend and tell a friend, yeah, and then I mm. got the IHUB, mm. you know about Startup Weekends. Mm. This, uh, I started to be involved in now in community stuff, mm. Google, mm. Go- Google uh, GDG. Mm. Yeah, I started even the first GDG for Nairobi, mm. University of Nairobi, I was the, mm. the lead and then I went to be also the lead of yeah. GDG yeah. Nairobi. What you should tell them is that we started that thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It was a consortium of six, seven guys. Yeah. I can't remember all of them, but I remember when we started. I don't, that's the time we started because... Uh, this is what I remember. Maybe yeah, yeah, you're you there, know, you're yeah, there. Yeah. You're part of it. Because uh, every time you, everything that I did, like, uh, mm, I had to, like, involve yeah, yeah. you. There was Rogers and, no, yeah, this is how it started. Let me remind you. Because <laughs> remind me. Maybe it might also <laughs> have skipped your mind. Uh, so we agreed to some extent we should be meeting on a Saturday to do some coding at the at the campus. Uh-huh. So no, because you guys you, yeah. used to have access to the lab and everything, uh, uh, it was easier for you to, like, negotiate with the lab guys to mm, get some access. Mm. And then we met there. Mm-hmm. So in this meeting, you used to know Ahmed Maui. Yes. And Ahmed, there, yeah, yeah. there was this GDG this, going on yeah, everywhere. Yeah. He was the lead like, for Nairobi that time. Ah, he was? Okay. Yeah, he was the lead for Nairobi. Mm. And then he, he left for Mombasa. Mm. He left for another guy called Andrew. Mm. Andrew is now at Google, uh, PM at Google. Mm. Andrew, Andrew, what is the name? Uh, Andrew, Andrew, I forget his mm. second name. And then, then myself. Mm. That now, person, that yeah. time, I think uh, the reason why we met is because, mm. you, I don't know if it's you who brought it up, but you said... Things are not active, but there's this guy who has been running it. He's no longer there. How mm. can we restructure it well so that now it becomes a thing? Ah. So it was uh, I, the guys who I can remember. There was Roger Sandati, who's I don't know where he is now. He's nah, really good now. at uh, Android. Eh? Yeah, an there was you. Mm-hmm. There was Banta. Mm. And then there was some other three guys. I can't remember them. You, you know what? Uh. Why I'm saying like I'm laughing because. Uh. Recently, I was going over my... You know, most of the times, you remember, we were, we were really uh-huh. hardcore users of Google Groups. Everything yes, yes, that yes, we wanted to do, yes, we do a Google yes, Group. Yes. So I saw a killer Google Group that yes. we did together. It's still there. Deep SEI. Ah, you yes, go yes, check yes, your, yes. <laughs> If you check ah, your email, yeah, you yeah, yeah. So you see all those guys there, the members that you ah, send them. <laughs> you see nice, them. nice, nice, nice. So even at the time, I wanted to send you guys yeah. a message like, hey, guys, it has been... Yeah. So I checked, it has actually been 10 years. Yes. So it was 2012. Yes. So 20, so I, I always will email you guys and say, mm. hey guys, have you been 10 years down the line? If you just take a Google <laughs> group, you follow to groups that Google and, and look for deep SCI. Hey. You see it. Ah, so, so. Yeah, so. <laughs> so these are the guys who actually, for those who don't know, these are the guys who really shaped, I would say even beyond Am and Maui, these mm. are the guys who shaped G- GDG, though mm. with the time it culminated to something else. And maybe you can tell your story. Uh, 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 and we started meeting and then we decided okay let's not be meeting uh, at the SCI let's go to hub so that we can have more access more. oh mm. as oh, so, mm. so what what was happening here was mm. we wanted to start a one, uh, one gdg for for the school mm. gdg university of nairobi yes but then uh, don't forget that the nairobi was still going on yes. as much as it wasn't sometimes active because Ahmed had left yes, for mombasa yes, yes. Mm. And also Andrew also had left for, I think, UK or something. Mm. So it wasn't really active. Mm. But also wanted to do one in Nairobi because we thought mm. with the school, mm. it's easier to get, as you just said, mm. access to the lab and mm. all that. Mm. But the school will not easily allow outsiders to come. Mm. So mm. why we went to go now, I have is because, mm. because outsiders cannot come to school. Mm. It's easier for us now to go to the I have. Yeah, I can yeah. see these guys. You've there seen was them, uh, Boya, there uh-huh. was Andrew, somebody... Now, now, it's Andrew, just, so, so just suppose that Andrew is that the, the one who is this, this now. Ah, that's Andrew Ashira. So this guy was really committed. Yeah, Andrew Shira. I wish you. It's called Andrew Shira, right? I remember him. That's I remember Andrew Shira. Uh, yes, that's yes, Andrew yes, Shira. yes. Yeah. Uh, maybe we never, maybe we met once or twice. But Most likely. Yeah. He's the guy even who, who, who hooked us, uh, who, who, who hooked us 
with the merchandise for our first few events. Yes, is the one. Remember that's is, when the yes. swag thing came into yes, the that picture. Is Andrew, that's Andrew. Some stickers, you yeah. know, and all this. Yeah. Now, so it was just like, you know, he was just someone who was always uh, chinia magic kind mm, of person. Mm. So, when he person most people didn't know. Mm. Very few people knew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 